and we are going to be spooling up this HXW Raptor. There we go. With some yellow holocore. Got a lot of stress on my mind It's a nice day to go Yeah, I got a line I'm a caller The whole team Alright guys, so I'm going to be Spooling up with the 12 strand Cortland 100 pound test In the yellow Because the customer wants yellow braid And so we're going to be filling this HXW up Set up for casting And we'll definitely be rocking and rolling it We'll see how it goes Alright guys. So to tie the anaconda knot guys, we're gonna go into the spool and I'm gonna go in through the top end and I'm gonna go under the spool. And the reason for this is because this knot has to cinch back down on itself when the reel is engaged to reel in. And I'm going to take the tagline around the, the spool arbor eight to ten times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then I'm going to pull more line off so that way I can. Normally, I have to pull about two or three foot so that way I can make my loop over here. We'll go ahead and do this so y'all can see everything. And with the splicing needle, I'm going to come in about a, about 18 inches or so. I'm going to insert the needle into the hollow core braid, and I'm going to go in about 18 to 20 inches. If you go further than that, it's not going to harm the braid, guys, because the hollow core braid will close back up once it's back under pressure. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my tag line around my main line here, and I'm going to insert it into the loop in the splicing needle, and I'm going to push the braid over it, pulling that tag end into the hollow core braid. And I'm going to keep pushing it until I get that loop, this big loop, real small. Keep cinching it down to, like I said, so I can get that loop nice and small. There we go. All right. Now that I got it there, I haven't tightened, cinched it down yet, and I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to go and pull my needle out. You saw how I let go of the line I was towing in. Then I'm going to come over here to this side, and I'm going to grab it from here, and I'm going to pull pressure on it. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm taking out all the slack, and you're going to see that tag end disappear as, as I'm pulling on it. So now, that tag end actually ended, ends right here. So I've got about mm, 20 inches or so of my tag line inside there. That's what's locking, that's my knot. If you don't have a splicing needle, you can do a uni knot on this side and, and it'll work too. Any kind of knot on this side will work as long as it's around the main line like that so that way it can cinch down. Now I'm going to suck up all the excess line out of there and I'm going to show you something. Right here, even though it's already closed or it's still loose, you can see that the braid is already creating some kind of grip on there. Alright, and even I can increase the drag. Look at that. That tells you it's creating the grip that I need. I mean, so much that I'm moving the handle and the machine handle at the same time. So, I'm going to get this laid out the way I want. I want it nice and flat. 
Go and zoom in right there for you. Taking out the extra braid because I can pinch it down. And there you go. That's my Anaconda knot. And shout out to Dan, Big Dan, for uh, you know getting me to name it because I didn't have a name for this knot. I just naturally did it like that, and it's been over a decade that I've been creating this knot like this. And actually, it's probably 15 years at least that I've been doing this. And, um, yeah, that knot will work, guys. It will tie your braid to your spool without having to um, use any tape and or monofilament. And, like I said, I mean, I can put pressure on it. Turn my handle here. Hold on, let me... All right, here we go. And I'm going to keep some tension on it right here. I'm going to leave the clicker on so you can hear it as I increase the drag. Look at that. That's. And I'm putting pressure, guys. You can see on my hands the, the line coming across. Even right there. I was holding that braid really tight. There we go. Let's start spooling it up. Five yards of hundred on ISHXW, and it is set up for casting. Very nice. This is the 12 strand of the Cortland braid. Got it. <laughs> 